with tech layoffs, AI, Devin, I know that you're asking yourself, is it still worth learning how to code? Is it still worth becoming a computer programmer? I know I've asked myself the same question over and over, and I feel like it's a loaded question. I feel like there's so many variables in play with this that nobody can really predict the future. And with that being said, we can look at the way things are heading. And if we think it will get better, if it's worth it, and I'm going to give you my take on it. And first and foremost, I'm just going to say that I think if you're a little bit older and you're planning on going to get a CS degree, I don't think that's worth it anymore. I really don't because too many jobs are opening up without degrees. I know the U.S. government had just announced that they were going to do skill-based hiring starting next year. And I don't think the CS degree is worth it as much. Now, if you're younger and you're already doing it, yeah, maybe it could be worth it. But I don't think it's as valuable as it once was in the past. Companies and people know that there is a lot more value with experience on projects than there is by book-based learning. And that kind of goes with all different forms of education and careers, which is kind of why I switched to tech to begin with, because I was kind of capped out in healthcare without going to get degrees, master degrees. And I really just have no interest in that. I don't have an interest in going to a university and getting my master's. Maybe that changes in the future, but for now, I don't, it doesn't interest me, and I don't want to do that. I have a lot of experience to share without having to go to school for some school to tell me on a piece of paper that you did it. But on the flip side, for networking, it is awesome. So if you're younger, it could be worth it for the networking piece alone. Next is the AI. Now, I'll admit when I first started seeing ChatGPT4 and what it could do, I was very intimidated. I was scared. I slowed down my studies significantly. I slowed down pursuing to get into tech significantly. And it scared me really bad because I was like, oh, how am I going to compete with this? Well, after some time learning more and getting more complex in my applications and websites, I started to use Copilot a little bit. And I realized that it has a long way to go to replace programmers. And it is a very good, sometimes very good, autocomplete. And that's about it. And you can ask it questions. It works very good as a mentor. So it's really nice to be able to bounce ideas off of it, not use Stack Overflow, really good Google, little bit of copy and paste. It is very valuable as a tool to speed up our process, to make us better developers. And I don't think we're in danger of it actually replacing us as software developers. But that's not to say 10 years down the road that couldn't happen because I do believe it is going to get to that point. But I think once it gets to that point, we're going to have bigger problems to worry about because it's going to be taking a lot more jobs than just software development. And we'll deal with that when it comes. But I think we're a long ways away from it at the moment. So if you're worried about AI, don't be. You got some time, which kind of leads me to why you shouldn't do the CS degree because you spend the next four working towards your CS degree, then what happens, right? You got maybe six years. What if it does change in 10? I, I don't know. I can't predict the future. Nobody can. But I think if I start now, I'm doing a four-year degree before I even get into the workforce, might not be worth it because right now you need to be getting into the workforce. You need to be building that experience because once it does get better and better, juniors might not be needed as much. So you can be more valuable if you understand complex code, algorithms, data structures, and all that. You can be a lot more valuable with that tool as opposed to trying to learn. And then there's Devin. Well, from what I understand, Devin turned out to be fake, but that is what people are working for. And lots of companies are dumping money into finding something like that to replace junior developers and to save companies millions of dollars millions of dollars. It's coming because if there's anything I know for sure that when a bunch of people are working toward the same goal, they will achieve that goal. And AGI may take over, but it's going to take over a lot more than software developer jobs. And we will have to worry about a lot more than just this particular career path. Then we got tech layoffs and there's been a lot of them. Even this year, 2024, we've had a lot more happening I think what's happened, they're making their companies lean from overhiring before during the pandemic. Also, interest rates are really, really high. 
And that makes it hard for companies to borrow money to pay employees or to expand operations because the money costs more to get. So as the interest rates lower, which I think they will when election times comes, they're going to drop a little bit, maybe not a lot, but they will come down a little bit. Once they come down some, I think we'll start to level out on tech layoffs and maybe in the future we'll start going back up. But these are ebbs and flows that always happen. Don't let it deter you. Just take this time to work that much harder on your network and your skills in order to break into tech in the future. So do I think it's worth learning how to program still? Yes. I think that these skills are valuable to transfer into other things. I think as AI evolves, we can be very valuable because we have an understanding of how computers work and we can use this to our advantage. But I think 10 years from now, we will have to reevaluate and look at it again, but it is definitely still trying to learn how to program. I don't think I would go after a CS degree right now. I wouldn't spend the next four years studying in hopes to get into the workforce then. I would start learning now and trying to break into the workforce immediately. And obviously, I cannot predict the future, but I do think things will be changing dramatically soon. Now, if you agree with me, put it down in the comments. If you don't agree with me, put it down in the comments. I'd like to hear all your guys' opinion on what you think about learning program and the future landscape in tech. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. Hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.